Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribes around the world. Uh, so I'm getting ready to uh, see this. Actually, getting ready, man. There's water damage down in the. Alright, so anyway man, I got a uh, tarp, you can see over in that corner it's starting to peel, over here, that's a lot of damage, so I need to check the framing in that, filling right there, so first thing I'm going to do, I picked up a, a couple of these tarps, Steve, and uh, my C and M. My C and M, man. Three bucks, dude. Three sixty nine or something for a little five by seven tarp. Makes life a lot easier when it's time to clean up. I'm gonna throw this bad boy down here. Pick up a couple of them. I always keep a couple of tarps in my van. Help with the tree coming up. Alright, so I didn't bring any tools in yet because I was just going to see what we got going on. I got to get the uh, get screw gun so I can lay this thing. Man, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. All right, I gotta get a screw gun and uh, get this camera out here. I don't know how good that. Uh, it's kind of a dark, dark space to. Kind of a dark space. Daisy. <laughs> what up, girl? Hey, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> She's looking. Mm, funny. Her funny. Let's see, man. I have seen a switch in here earlier. Through this light. Let me go see that. Right there. Boom. All right, man. So I'm gonna go get a probably a definitely a Phillips. I'm gonna take this thing off. Oh, this is actually a little electric fan, like a little smart fan. Parts and pieces up in it. I wonder if that's what that. Yep, that's what that switch right there is for. I'm going to turn this mother off right now, man. It is hotter than we get up in here. Completely rotted out.
something, put some pressure on that. Which makes it uh, a little tough. Parts of pieces up in there. Oh. So that uh, wood, maybe there's still girth to the wood, so might be catching it uh, early enough. I might be able to salvage that. I absolutely love this bar. I don't really want to take it off. Unless I have to. I think what we're going to do is uh, I'll take the screws out first. That's all right here. Those are from, those are from the original bar. All oh, that is a dang sheetrock uh, plugs. Razor knife. So it's the first. Right here. Oh, I guess I should get this in. It's kind of tough in here, man. Adjusting it around so you can see. That takes twice as long, but just for you, man, I'll do it. You can see this is where that piece of molding was that I peeled down. This is definitely all fallen. I got that vent out. What I'm going to do right now is try to uh, once examine before I get too crazy. So I'm going to cut. See, they put these rubber seals like a molding. Uh, this goes between the cabinets on a little rubber lip thing. They put the ca cabinets up between that and the ceiling. I'm actually just going to cut back here, about like that. Put a little piece of there. And then I'm going to uh, just cut back to here. I'm pretty sure it's all going to come out, but I can just feel it. Oh, it's falling behind you. Really, I'm just trying to make an examination hole <laughs> operating this man over to this here. Uh, back too far 
there's a vent, which this vent, this little fan and stuff, should turn on right here. Unless they've got it on. I'm not sure. And they have those the buddy fans or smart fans or whatever they're called. They'll definitely be. Those are great, man, especially in the shower area for steam and all that to help prevent exactly what this uh, is doing here. Adjusted. Ooh. A lot of adjusted in here. here you just can't really see it but I can see the wetness there the main thing is the framing replacing the paneling which I'm not a big fan of this vinyl covered crap anyway Seam here, man. I can see it. I can see water damage back there. May end up. Uh... I don't know that corner there too, man. That corner right here. You can see all the peel. I mean, yeah. When the vinyl top off your paneling starts to peel, you know you got water, water crap going on. So this whole corner, all this is probably gonna have to be at least to that center. This here, uh, definitely, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. Fired in, uh, in layers. You can see, you still got this, which punched through that. Damn, dude. This one might have a... Uh, Plug my dick on it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh. Oh, it's time for the insulation. Like that that's a lot better than uh you know man that's probably a two inch inch and a half uh styrofoam insulation man that ain't gonna rot out that's good it's glued to this the panel was glued to this see that Than, uh, different than other ones I've done. And this one's pretty solid here. It's actually solid right there. And I got to do some round jaws. Huh. That's pretty dang interesting, dude. I think I'm going to jump over that corner. Alright, oh, yeah, so I think I'm going to jump over down to this corner here. Obviously, I got to peel all that off. And then, uh, this is all just wet, man. I can feel it big time, big time wet. So that, so whether it's coming through here and then probably that corner, it's, uh, definitely, uh, Leak it on to that, and then, uh, uh, bleeding or whatever you want to call it over to the, uh, 
See, no matter what or how it turns out, it had to be, this part was all falling, um, so it had to be addressed. Dude, man, for the, uh, I'm going to put heat in here and fans and stuff to get this dried out once I open this up. I'm not, uh, man, I'm pretty impressed with the insulation. That's amazing. I have not, and I've redone a lot of camp trailers and a few other homes too. I haven't had them yet. Styrofoam, man, I'm pretty happy with that. Wall might be insulated with a styrofoam too. That'd be very happy. I don't know if you can see this crap. It is tough to film in here, man. This whole thing's um, insulated with styrofoam, man. That's that's awesome. Got to figure out, though, man. I'm, I would guess that they framed it up in the insulation is, uh, you know, in between the framing. That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out, man. Is where the uh, you know you should be one by twos or all these, uh, or these are actually two by twos. So I've got to figure out if, it, uh, if they're in between them, exactly how they're putting all this together before I get too crazy. Yeah, I've rebuilt trailers from the outside too, man. Peeling all the metal and redoing it. Dude, you talk about some serious work. I'm only doing that for this one. We're going from the inside. I just got to figure out exactly what they got going on. And see how rotted uh, out it is. Very infasty. Very infasty. Ooh, steel frame. Well, that's steel right there, baby. Oh, that's even better. Holy crap, this thing is freaking built well. Obviously, man, this whole corner, man, this is where I sleep. So this whole corner in that vent definitely needed to be addressed. And this was falling, so I'm going to probably cut this back to here, because from about here to I get up to the front bunk. But, uh, I didn't make it. But from this light... Then you look at the ceiling, and from this light here on up to the front bunk, man, the ceiling looks good. And then that front bunk's, bunk, bunk has damage, so I'm going to, uh, from here in this corner, not this wall probably, um, I'm going to tear all this out. So, uh, I'm not too sure about that window. Um, yeah, I really don't know what else. <laughs> See, man, I start showing stuff and the camera ain't even showing shining over there. But anyway, so from this, not too sure what I'm going to do around this window. Definitely going to peel the uh, vinyl covering off of that. That corner was bad so I wanted it done man being that it's still framing I'm gonna get a get that tore out so that I can look at that and I think I'm going to uh, peel back this hole to see 
how that uh, vent with the 2x2s is framed in there. Obviously, man, I need to, uh, gotta wait for the weather to warm up, man, to, uh, cool sill. You know, obviously, 54 degrees, man, is what it's got to be to cool sill, so. Alright, so I uh, had to turn the camera, couldn't even see nothing because the windows and everything. But I got uh, the Valances, I guess you call them, over the windows down, peeled out some more. Um, got down, still got to take the one piece there, and then I'm going to put something temporary, temporarily so that I can get, put the mattress back on here. And um, there's still some pieces and stuff I want to. I'm obviously, got to clean up where I did tear off places like up here on the ceiling, so that I can put a piece across here. And really, I'm not gonna do too much to it until, uh, cause like we got. Rain and snow in the forecast and everything, and I can't do, you know, I might put no new pieces on this until I have a cool sealed so that, you know, it's, uh, ain't no sense in replacing the water damaged stuff when you haven't, uh, got the leak or the source taken care of. So I kind of jumped the gun on doing this, but, uh, um, but we'll get that cool sill down here because I need 54 degrees for you know for a little while you know for a day anyway where it's 54 degrees for an extended amount of time for that stuff to, stuff to dry so what I'm going to do right now is uh, pick up the tools and stuff then shop back clean this stuff up put something temporary in that hole over, whoa, over in the corner that uh, I dug a pretty good hole right there so that I could see the framing man. It's got steel framing running down down there, you know, and then steel framing in the corner. And I want to see exactly how it's framed in this wall, but I'm not going to tear that out just to do that. So uh, it's a little bit different than anything I've dealt with, man. I love a challenge. So. But, like I said, really, there's nothing, uh, I've got uh, everything dried out, um, you know, once it rains or snows or whatever. We did have some rain, and this didn't leak at all. I think that the reason it was leaking the other day was that I had a little bit of snow up there, and then rain, dude, because it was coming down like a sieve. I don't know if I showed that, but, um, anyway, I'm going to... Like I said, I'm going to clean this up, but right now I want this mattress out of the middle of my dang floor because, dude, I will take this and go do stuff while, you know, while I'm uh, still working on this. Dude, it ain't going to stop my, my using it. So I definitely want to get all this stuff back together. Of course, I want it fixed right, but I also want to get it back together because I will use it while I'm... There'll always be maintenance and stuff to fix on it. Look at that, man, that, uh, that I didn't know. But this is all, uh, this here, whoops, not that, this, this right here, I don't know if you can see it, I guess, is fiberglass. And what they've done is frame this thing, and then they put this, like, this belly well, I guess it wouldn't be the belly, but this top, you know, kind of like a belly paper, but this belly fiberglass over the top of it before they put the insulation down. So, 
It's very interesting, dude. Like I said, dude, I don't know how many, man. I've done, dude, a lot of camp trailers over the years, man. A lot. And some, you know, and some motorhomes, you know, all, anything, any RVs and stuff, dude. And this is the first time that I've came across this. So it's very, very interesting and intriguing to me. And I will get it done upright, but I'm not going past here. The one thing that I will do is, uh, um, I probably wait till I'll cool. So I'll probably tear into it just so I can see what we're going to have to, um, do up in the nose because up in the nose it's more water damage than it was back here this back here it was uh i was really concerned about that corner being rotted out like in a trailer but being that it's steel the corner's not rotted out man so that's cool but i was worried about it you know because then there's some staining and stuff on that and that's a that's a factory uh factory made mattress you know, just for this unit and for the shape of this and everything. Hey, I just dumped a little bit of water right there. I guess it could be from this when I was doing it. That's the one thing I'll be watching too, why this is torn apart for, uh, to see exactly, you know, around the, uh, Vince, man, they, you know, it seems like they always leak. So as soon as I can, you know, when the temps come up, get up there, peel all the old cool seal around the vents, this vent, that vent, you know, any uh, any joints and stuff up there. But and then I'll uh, redo or you know put new fresh cool seal, man. You should cool seal motorhomes, man, even more than. More than a travel trailer should drive it. It's, well, it's, it all depends on how much you're using it, man. If you're using the heck out of it, you need to, man, keep up on it. Because that moving and jolting it and stuff will break the break the seals and everything. Let me babble along, man. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All I know is I'm going to get this junk out of here. This big tarp. Out of here, get the vacuum in here. There's definitely a moisture on that part, but we're supposed to get a big rain snow mix. Uh, not tomorrow, the next day. So, uh, was that Tuesday? I think Tuesday is supposed to have a rain snow mix all day. Then there's some more in the future, but we'll see about that. Hello, man. Didn't really do much of, much of nothing but tear it apart, man. The, to try to film in here and show everything and all that is tight, but we'll, uh, we'll continue to show what what I do with it right now. I just want to, I'm going to do something with that corner. Like I said, I'm going to put a couple pieces of... Um, Probably a couple strips of wood or something to keep that corner clean because there's a pretty good hole right there. I need to actually look at that. I might have to put that heater up there and try to dry that surface rest on the metal framing. So the water's definitely been running down there. So the corners, you know, all need cool sill too. But I don't know, man. We'll put this thing together, see if it's even worth putting out there, dude. There ain't, ain't a lot of nothing on it. That's all I got. Good Lord willing. And those creeks don't rise. Hold the back in tomorrow. There you go.